Welcome back to Brain Freeze, where we melt your mind. Today, we're gonna to teach you how to dominate your local cannonball competition. We're going to look at the big three components of every cannonball competition. Size of splash, height of splash, and showmanship. Master these three areas, and you're going to be walking away the cannonball champion. Let's start with some science, specifically hydrodynamics, the study of liquids in motion. If we evaluate a ball dropping into a cup, we can see a few things. The water is displaced by the ball when it hits. The splash that shoots out from the outer edges is called the radial jet. This is what creates the splash towards your judges. To get a bigger radial jet, you need more surface area. If we drop in a bigger ball, we get a bigger radial jet. After the initial impact, an empty space is created in the water from your body. The water starts to fill in this gap and eventually crashes into itself. The resulting pop of water out the center is called the jet. If you want a bigger pop, you need the best spherical shape possible and maximum speed. The bigger the spherical hole you drop in the water, the better the pop. Enough book work, let's get to it. We're here at the pond to put some of these theories to the test. First, we're gonna practice getting maximum radial jet by practicing a few lesser known cannonball tricks, specifically the banana and the preacher seat. The cannonball does all right, but if we wanna increase that splash, we may want to try a banana or a preacher seat. These moves are designed to send water out with maximum radial jet or maximum splash, although we are sacrificing some of that high pop at the top end. What we're gonna do is try to enter the water exactly like it sounds, like a banana. And in theory, we're gonna get a nice radial jet, which is an outward splash. To do the banana, you basically make yourself look like a banana in the air. This is my first attempt at the banana, and it's off a pretty high jump. Let's see. I'll have to review the footage, but it felt okay. Next is the preacher seat. What I'm gonna to try to do is get my legs out as far as I can and just land flat on my butt. The preacher's just like the banana, but we're gonna hit even a little more flat. We get some good splash because of our bigger surface area. My legs hurt so bad after that one. Seriously, so bad. So we've done the banana, we've done the preacher seat, and it's time finally to go for the cannonball. The cannonball, I'm gonna try to get that perfect spherical shape with a lot of height that's gonna give me a lot of speed and hopefully bring together that perfect combination of radial jet and pop the jet right out of the middle. The cannonball is designed to give us the ultimate combination of splash out and splash up. To achieve this, we need to enter the water in as spherical a shape as possible with as much speed as possible. Height is your friend here. Let's make a splash. Finally, if you're gonna win the competition, it's going to take a bit more than just your knowledge of hydrodynamics to take the crown. So when you're really trying to go for the crowd, you just gotta get them all pumped up. So that's what we're gonna do next. What we're gonna do is get up there, let the crowd know I'm jumping. All attention should be on me. Then we're gonna do a dance, give ourselves a little bit of name. We gotta get that showmanship coming out. All right, here we go. Ultimate cannonball happening right now. Well, that's it on the cannonball. Thanks for watching Brain Freeze today. I hope you melt some judges' mind at your next cannonball competition.